2018 exam 2 core data analysis question 2 okay we've got to get the median percentage for the morning peak period and evening peak period and then you've got to write the answers in the boxes so that's for morning that's for evening now uh, a lot of people struggled to get the second value the evening because they made a, a very basic error but if you're looking at the morning it's about the left right values for morning and if we're looking at evening it is the up down now how many values do we have we have 19 so what we need to be doing is going 19 plus 1 divided by 2 that means we get the tenth number is the one we're looking for so if we do just the morning all right we're doing morning uh, we're going to count off those dots thinking about left right not about up down so this is the most left one and then this is number two three four five six seven and then up here eight nine ten so starting on the left going to the right that's the tenth spot and if i draw my line down here you're able to see that that is in fact 52 percent now what most people did then was went, well that's the median spot and then read it across like that but that clearly you can see from for, for this dot there's a lot more than 10 spots above it so remember that just because you're median for the morning doesn't mean you're the median for the evening all right they're not connected in that way completely separate but still the 10th spot so evening looking at the vertical axis so this is the lowest one and we're going to count up 10 so that's two three four five six seven eight uh, nine and this is the tenth highest spot and you can see that when I take that number and draw it carefully across here you get 56 and you can see there's 10 dots above and uh, oh, sorry nine dots above nine dots uh, below so that is how you know that those are the answers but a lot of people uh, made a mistake on the evening uh, period one and that's why only 41 percent of people got the full two marks okay here it says name the response variable in this equation uh, there are a few ways to look at this you know you've got the x and y axis are now called explanatory and response so remember x for explanatory you might also know that they love to have the equation in the form y equals a plus b so you can still see again which one is uh, the response is the Y so we know it is actually the evening make sure you put all the words evening congestion level all right next part says use the equation which is the one given up here just delete that bit there and uh, to predict the evening congestion level when the morning is 60%. So that's fairly straightforward. You just got to go uh, 8.48 plus 0 0.922 times 60 on your calculator, and you should get 63.8. And don't forget to put a percentage symbol on that. Um, it didn't ask people to uh, round so if you wrote 64 percent it says on the report uh they took the mark off you oh, what a horrible people um i think that's a bit cruel to be honest but uh there you go pay attention to those tiny little details a lot of people lost the mark for that oh mean now we're going to get the residual value and we've got to predict the evening congestion level when the morning congestion level is 47 percent and we got to remember that residual equals the actual minus predicted so the actual is what we're going to get first so uh 47 percent tiny tiny graph i did like that and then if you read that across there like that you've got very good eyesight uh so that's going to equal 50 but we've got to get this predicted when it's uh, 47. So that's using the equation again. So you've got to go 8.48 plus 0 0.922 uh, times 
47. If you hit your calculator, you should get uh, 51.814. So uh, if you do actually subtract uh, 51.814, you'll get minus uh, 1.814. But it does say around your answer to one decimal place, and so your residual is minus 1.8. Um, a lot of people got the 51.84, but uh, fluffed up actually then doing the 50 minus that, reading the actual value from the graph. But there you go, that's how you do it, minus 1.8. Now you should have a sense of these things coming. Correlation coefficient of R, and it says what percentage of the variation in the evening congestion level can be explained by the variation in the morning congestion level. Well, obviously, that's asking for uh, the coefficient of determination, or R squared. So all you've got to do is take 0 0.92, square it, and on your calculator, that should get you 0 0.8464. But you've got to uh, take that uh, times it by 100 to get the percentage, of course. And then it does say, uh, round your answer to the nearest whole number, so you should get 85%. Uh, an extraordinarily uh, large number of people got that wrong, and, and how hard was that, dearie me? Um, you know there's going to be an R and an R squared question. N maybe this year it's going to be R squared to R. Don't forget that whole idea that you can have a, when you square root, you can have a positive or negative root.